Amber, are you okay? I think you have eaten more than you should have. Yes, I think you're right, Mr. Appley. How many apples have you eaten today? I don't remember. Apples are good for your health, but having too much of anything can be harmful. I know. I have been eating a lot. How many apples did you eat yesterday? Uh, I don't remember that either. Well, if you find it difficult to remember numbers, I can teach you an easy way. That would be great. Okay, let's do this. Each time you eat an apple this week, you will pick up a stone and make a mark on my trunk. Mark? What kind of mark? Any symbol that you want, even a simple cross or a tick sign will do. Okay. Hmm. So here are the marks showing the number of apples I ate last week. It's so easy to keep track of them this way. That is the beauty of using graphs. Graphs? Yes, Amber. Graphs. Graphs are a way of showing different amounts with the help of pictures and figures. The items we count are called objects. A picture graph uses pictures to show data. Pictures? Yes. Instead of using a cross or a tick mark, you can also use colorful pictures to count the objects. For example, the apples that you ate. <laughs> All those squirrels look exactly like me. You can see here that each picture stands for one object. So this graph shows five apples, two trees, and six squirrels. You are right, Amber. Hey, Amber. Take a look at this. This is the picture graph showing the number of acorns owned by each of your friends. Acorns? That's one of my favorite fruits. I see. So you can tell me how many acorns does Peppy have? That's easy. Peppy has four acorns. <laughs> Tricked you. It's easy to get fooled by the pictures and count the number of objects. What do you mean? Sometimes one picture can stand for more than one object. In that case, we call the picture a symbol. Here, each acorn symbol stands for four acorns. This information is given as a key at the end of the graph. A key? Yes. The key tells you exactly what the symbol means. If no key is given, then each symbol or picture is equal to one object. Oh, I get it now. The number four here is known as a scale. It is the number of objects the symbol is equal to. So now tell me, how many acorns does Peppy have? There are four acorns drawn here, so. Peppy has 4 multiplied by 4 equals to 16 acorns in all. Oh boy, that was a Peppy reply. So, how do we choose a scale? We always choose a scale such that the number of objects is always a multiple of it. Normally, if you do not have to do too much drawing of symbols, I suggest keep that scale as low as possible. Got it! Now, tell me how many acorns do your friends have overall? There are 15 acorns drawn. So, there must have been 15 multiplied by 4 equals to 60 acorns in all. Good! See? Now you know how to read and draw picture graphs. Yes! Thank you so much, Appley. It's time to summarize all that we have learned about picture graphs. Graphs are pictures that help us understand different amounts 
with the help of pictures and figures. A picture graph uses pictures or symbols to show data. Each picture in a picture graph can stand for one or more than one items or objects. This information is mentioned in the scale that represents the number of objects the symbol is equal to.